Hi, my name is Barrett Sather and I'm an instructor and solutions engineer here at Excellus. And today I'm going to go through using the reform function in IDL along with the PCA routine from the Astrolib. The was actually introduced to the Astrolib in 2013. And you can download that library for free at idlastro.gsfc.nasa.gov/ftp and that'll add a whole bunch of new routines to your IDL that are usually in the astrophysics or astronomy field. So with an image, what PCA does is does a principal component analysis on your image and looks for any sort of different correspondences in between your bands. So we'll try to pull out different spectral signatures and then you can get regions of interest for that or find different materials that might be within your scene in case you're looking for vegetation, water, urban areas, or maybe shadows. The thing with PCA though is that you have to feed in a two-dimensional array. So if you have an image, you first have to get it into this two-dimensional form and flatten those bands out into single-dimension arrays, run it through PCA, and then you'll get out your new principal components. Those you th can then reform into images, look at those images, and then generate regions of interest from that image. It's a really great way to take a look at an image initially if you're not really sure what's in that image yet and uh, you want to get some more information out of it rather than just looking at it. If you want to get more information on this and how to actually make the regions of interest out of this workflow here, go to the blog at www.excelsviz.com and go to Imagery Speaks. You'll find my blog there among other blogs by other people here at Excelis. Uh, if you have any questions, go to info at and we'll be glad to help you. And also, thanks for watching.